Hello everybody, my name is Upgood, and today, today we are going to kind of do what I did the other day, yesterday I guess, um, let's put that up here, make this always on top, let's start it, let's go for 10 minutes, okay, so, um, my sketching actually really needs some, a lot of help, right? So, I realized um, what I should really do is I should go ahead and uh, look up, actually we'll do this here, uh, some tracing pages and maybe some kids coloring pages. Uh, let me see something for a second. Hold on. Configure. Let's see. That's all right. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. Sorry. I was just looking at some of my settings. Okay. So basically. Um, one of the things that I was doing, you saw in, um, like a few weeks back, uh, was, uh, the, uh, was when I was tracing, like, cartoon characters and a comic strip, right? Snoopy and some of the Seven Dwarfs, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And that's still a good idea, and I will still probably do that. I'll still probably use, uh, uh, you know, like, model sheets and whatnot and uh and comics and i'll do some tracing and i'll do some copying and all that stuff but uh the other thing that i was noticing is um for my control on my drawing um especially with the with the stylus uh i figured if i looked up some some stuff to trace now most of these tracing things have like these dotted lines right like this is a dotted line this is like a preschool tracing deal for kids, right? And I was just thinking, you know what? That would be perfect for me, especially since my uh, my hand, you know, doesn't work real well on the tablet, and I'm not that good at drawing anyways. It would just be good if I just, if I took something like this, and I just, you know, I brought it into, like, Blender or Grease Pencil as a background image, and then I just started going, you know, like, back and forth, like, you know, just tracing it, and just tracing it my line several times. Now, I'm kind of cheating here for right now. I'm cheating in the, in the sense that um, I'm just going to do some. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look up some tracing stuff. In fact, I already got one site um, that has a bunch of tracing deals on it. Um, I guess they're printable, so that you know kids can trace them. But um, um, so so I'm kind of cheating here with the day's videos by by doing some of this finding and some of this tracing stuff now obviously i won't be tracing um i won't be doing like practice drills or exercises uh while i am making videos i'm only doing this for this video or these set of videos you know today's block you know the four videos for today um i am just um doing it this time kind of like what I did before and then the rest will be like kind of like b-roll like kind of like what I was doing with the b-roll before and what it what it means is I will record myself um, doing these exercises doing this tracing or whatever and then um, I'll use them for footage in the background I won't be using this as footage in the background this is actual video that I'm I'm posting as my my daily devlog now it's sort of cheating because um i don't have to think too much i don't have to try to make a character because that was kind of a pain in the butt and i didn't do very well you saw the last time i'm not doing a boring story uh writing thing although that's not really that boring you know make progress on it right um i'm not doing one of those tutorials in fact um i'm still going to try to finish blender 3d noob to pro wiki book 
but it, it looks like it might be so far from um, 2.80 that I will maybe have to stop um, doing it because maybe those things won't be relevant enough to use. But we'll see. I'll try it. So, And um, I'm not going to try another one where I switch off on each of the different things until the next free day that I have. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe, um, you know, maybe the next day, maybe a couple of days. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah. So I am going to go ahead and we're going to find some pages. I'm going to uh, do some tracing. I'm going to do like some kind of various exercises where I'm just, you know, I'm just going over. See like this tracing line elements here. This looks pretty cool. 50% off sale clip art tracing elements trace lines teacher clip Actually, what's interesting is I could actually come up with something like that and sell this exact same thing right Etsy In fact, uh, so I was a uh, um, I was watching a deal about how to make money through Etsy and somebody was talking about taking doing some sort of um, I don't know some sort of template for You know like weddings or something where you provide these these clip art elements and so that they can you know download them and use them and people you know pay money for this right so uh that's what makes me wonder here um clip art royalty free it's like i could actually use this but what, what's actually in this though you know how much how much how many elements are in this is this just uh I mean, is this it, right? Item details, materials. More items available here. Sunny. Aid heart design. Learn more about this item. Yeah, exactly. What you get? Clip art PNG 300 DPI with transparent backgrounds. Vector, some sets. How you can use it. How much are they? What are they? You know, how many pieces of art is it? Just what I see right here, because I can I can take this and I can just use it if I want to. I mean, seriously, just take a screenshot of this, or just um, maybe you can't save. Well, no, I can actually save the image. In fact, I can just open this in a new tab, and I get it. Anyways, the idea here is, I can go and. Uh, I can trace these and I can just go over them and try to just to try to make sure uh, lock my you know wrist and my my elbow and just go by my shoulder and that will just help me um, with uh, it's like this square right what does it supply me these are actually uh, this is something you have to buy right but actually, just look at that, though. I could actually, uh... Circle, square, triangle. I don't even actually need to buy these. I can just, uh... I can actually, um, do trace... You know, look up tracing shapes as a... As a thing. And then also, we got, like, what? Letters, right? Alphabet tracing... You can save and print these pictures freely, right? Trace the letters, and actually, I could just I could do that. And uh, I I realize regular handwriting, you know, you usually hold it at the tip, and then you why is that red? Just because I you know the way I put it on, right? Resting, weird. Anyways, um. When you write, right, you write at the tip and you kind of press down like this and you're like, you know, like that, right? And you move your wrist. Well, um, I could just take these letters and as background images and then I could just trace them without moving my wrist. And eventually I could get good enough that I could just kind of go like that. And uh, that would help a great lot in control and basically in the whole... Um, I like this here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and bookmark this. And I got it 
art. Actually, I got it under the Make Games folder, but um, the art under the Make Games folder. So, uh, categories, alphabet, and numbers. Frozen. Tracer, 1 to 20 tracers. Uh, sign language. Free worksheet for letters O. ABC writing. And it looks like there's a ton of stuff here that I can do. Um, coloring, let's see coloring pages look like. And again, the big deal about this is the fact that, um, now this is kind of complex, right? But the big deal about it is that I can, um, I can just trace them and they're already like simplified versions of whatever. Okay, let's continue reading this and see if that has more pictures on here. Um, like this, right? This fruits. It's not a great drawing or nothing, but that's not the point. The point is just to get my control going, right? Um, that's really complicated. Um, I could still trace it, but it's pretty complicated. Uh, okay, here's a new tab. But you know, you could you could see how I, I could do it, and I could actually just. Um, I, I put it as a background image in Blender um, on a grease pencil. I, I make it like translucent practically, and then I draw my stuff on top, and I just, I basically trace it, and you know what I mean? It would just, it, it, if I just continue doing those exercises, it'll be like, um, learnprintable.com. Now, I think I just put this in here. Where did I put where did I put it? Art Loving Printable. Okay. Um I just go to Loving Printable main page, connect the dots. Connect the dots. I could actually do that. Let's see, are there more connect the dots pages on here? Yeah. Pikachu, some dog, some snowman. Interesting. So yeah, and then uh that would also help with control. So I could just like continue to like, you know, do these different deals here. Right? And this is just like somebody's vlog and so we got alphabet and numbers. We got count see like like this. That's A. Let's see something here. Continue. A. B. And it's like I can trace all of these. I can trace some of these. Let's fill in the missing letter. I mean, I could just use that as a thing to just do my letters freehand. Um, that's a match uppercase and large case. It's just, you know, they're free, like, anyways. Um, I think uh, we've done enough on this video. Um, in the next video, um, I think we will actually look up some of these. And actually, um, I'll bookmark some of them, and then later on, I will fire up Blender, and I will try to, I will um, download some of these pictures, and then I will fire up Blender, and then I will try to, to use it. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I know it's a little bit of a cheat this for, for today, but um, it's a way I can get, uh, it's an easy way I can get. Uh, some content for today and it still applies to my game it just means that um, it'll help me and again I won't be doing like all the time like tracing letters or whatever I won't be doing the you know the kind of boring stuff like that I'll relegate the exercise stuff to to some background B footage or you know some background role anyways thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video